Hey everybody, welcome back to the Leo Ship Show. So first of all, um, I hope you guys are excited for the last episode of our Pride Month. I am super excited to share it. I'm so sorry it's been a delay. Like I mentioned in the video yesterday, Roe versus Ro, Roe v. Wade getting overturned really messed me up and I needed a minute and it then it turned into a two week minute. <laughs> um, here's all I'm gonna say about it. Just, I wanna say, I am very scared and any and if you know anybody who's been affected by this and almost um, a good majority of people have been check in on them please make sure everyone's okay just be cautious listen to the ones around you be careful that's all i can really say it's really freaked me out but that isn't the point of today's episode today's episode is that i want to celebrate a very special group for our last pride for our last pride episode of june 2022 for I lovely focus with the FNAF babies on their sexualities. So the reason, and I know, I know we're in July, I don't care. Pride month can be celebrated all the day time. And then there's a lot of jokes and now people are being like, oh, well we can go and hide in the closet now. No, you don't need to. I, I will, well, kind of my whole, and I, I'm very out if anybody wants to know. But um, according, to my, according to my parents, they're like, yeah, they kind of are ready. <laughs> okay but the big thing that I am but I want to keep celebrating it because I find it's important to me and I am so so excited because this video in includes my original comfort characters and my introduction to the FNAF community FNAF 1. So we're going to go through Fre um, Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, their original at least my headcanon for their sexualities. We're gonna go through it in this episode. So I'm super excited about it. Also, they are drawn all as children in this episode, mostly because that's how they are. We're drawn as children in this because, um, how do I phrase this? In the current comic on YouTube, they are in, we're in a prequel comic where we're focusing on them as children. So I just take up continu continuity and assemble and everything with the YouTube channel and the Pride series. We're keeping them just as children in the set canon. I don't know when they actually figure out they're, that they're all pride because everyone finds out different times in their life. I haven't looked that much into it. <laughs> but I'm just so excited to do this story and explain it with you guys. Cause like, this just brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> well, hey guys, I hope you're having a phenomenal day and I am so excited. So let's dive into the original, the original Five Nights at Freddy's crew, what their sexualities are. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Foxy is our storyteller of the original Fazbear crew. When children would run up to his pirate cove, he would tell them tales of mermaids and wild adventures of sailing his sea. Now, concerning Foxy's love life, this took a bit of digging. Foxy could see that other people had beauty, but he wasn't attracted to them, at least not right away. It was only after forming a deep emotional bond that Foxy could start to feel that attraction. He was able to learn what he was through talking to one of his good friends, Chica. Foxy learned that he is demisexual meaning that he only forms romantic attraction after forming that deep emotional bond. Now, Chica was the protector and the cook of the crew. She was the first one to bring the Fazbear pizza and birthday cake out for kids. She was also the first one to double check to make sure everyone had eaten their fill. And if they wanted leftovers, she would ensure that a couple of pieces of pizza would end up in those kids' backpacks just in case they wanted leftovers for later. She was also the first to break up a fight. She also was the first, out of the Fazbear crew at least, to openly discover her sexuality. Chica is bisexual, meaning she is attracted to more than one gender. Though, through debating this with Foxy, this is how she found out all about more of her identity. Now, Freddy was the leader of the Fazbear crew. 
He led the songs and the dances for the children and adults alike. He also was the one to guide and lead his crew to help them succeed in the best way possible for their tasks. Chica always referred to Freddy as the heart of the crew. He didn't boast it, and he was always there when a child was crying. He was always had a band-aid ready if someone got hurt. He also always knew that he liked more than one gender. He did have a tiny crush on Chica when they first met. But as he grew older, well, that's for later in the story. Our ninchpin of the group is Bonnie, the little playful bunny. He always had a steady supply of puns and joke for the kids. He would do a silly dance to get a laugh and then play games with them to the hordes of his gremlin children. He was also ready to lend an ear to listen. Children would come to him and share their stories, and he would listen to each and every one. For Bonnie's sexuality, he knew from day one. He knew that he liked boys. He never had a doubt in his mind about this. And this was only confirmed and reassured when he met Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie had, when he had found out about Bonnie's Bonnie's way of love, he simply smiled and said, hey, me too. (laughs) It was a little bonding moment for the two of them. Thank you all so much for watching our last episode, at least in 2022, for our Pride this year. I hope you guys greatly enjoyed it. We aren't quite done with Pride yet, because I do believe, my loves, we can celebrate as long as we are able to. Especially in my city, for some reason, we don't actually have a Pride Parade until August. Let me see if I can show you guys a clip of it. Well, hey guys, we will see what happens then, and I will keep you guys up to date. Thank you so much. Bye. I will see you all next time on our lovely show. Bye.